Yo! What is happening, my fellow artistes? It's really good to see you guys again. So today's video is for those of you who already know how to draw a head and its basic structure. Now, what we are going to be showing you guys today is how to properly shade the face and head. And we're going to be utilizing a method that uses geometric planes to simplify the facial structure and break down the details. All right, class is beginning, so sit down and let's go. Okay, now in this lesson, we're gonna be going over two different views, light from the side and light from above. Uh, but we're gonna start with light from above. Now, there are two main points that I want you guys to keep in mind as we progress through this lesson. And those are that the more prominent features will be shaded uh, lighter and the less prominent features will be shaded um, with darker shades. Prominent meaning that they protrude out towards the viewer. Now the uh, top of the head uh, will be the most prominent um, with this light source being from above and because of that there will be little to no shading on the top of the head. Now the temples, that's a different story. They'll be much less prominent. You are going to want to make sure that you are shading those uh, much darker than the top of the head. Now the brow is going to be less prominent and because of that you are going to want to have lighter shading on the brow than on the temples. And this will help give your drawing that three-dimensional look as far as your shading is concerned. Now I want you guys to understand all of the less prominent features of the face and these are the features that are going to receive the darker shades because they are less prominent. These features include the eyes as well as the sides and the bottom of the nose, the jawline and the bottom of the chin, the bottom of the cheeks, the top lip as well as the underside of the neck. Now just like we had less prominent, darker shaded features of the face, we have their corresponding opposites. We have more prominent features that require little to no shading. These features include the uh, bridge of the nose, the top of the cheeks, as well as the bottom of the lips, and the top of the lips. Now a key point that you should always keep in mind when it comes to drawing portraits is as you work your way down the face, your shading values uh, should become darker, especially when your light source is coming from above. Start lighter and progressively work your way darker. Now we're going to be moving on to the second view. This is going to be light from the side. Now the features in this view are going to be shaded differently um, when light hits the side of the face, uh, so be sure to pay attention. Now, the eyes uh, are still going to be less prominent in this view, and because of that, they are going to remain having that darker shade. Now, the big changes are going to be that the side of the face and the neck are highlighted. Before, in the first view, they weren't, but in this view, they are. Now the key point that I want you to focus on is that the less prominent, also known as the darker shades, are still going to be the eyes, uh, the sides and the bottom of the nose, the top lip, the bottom of the cheeks, as well as the jawline 
the front and back of the neck, and the back of the head. And just like we had the less prominent, darker shaded features, we have their corresponding opposites in this view as well, with the more prominent having little to no shading. These features include, much like with the first view, the bridge of the nose, the tops of the cheeks, and the bottom of the lip. Some more prominent features that are different in this view are the temple and the ear, the top of the jawline, and the side of the neck. And that is pretty much the basic overview of these two light views. Now, this is an exercise that you can do on your own time. This is more of a principle video than it is an actual application. And the reason why is because I wanted you guys to understand the basic three-dimensional shape of the human face, because this will help you when it comes to drawing different portraits, different views, but this lesson is just meant to be a guide. It's not absolute by any means. Um, this isn't the only way to differentiate in different muscle groups as far as shading. It's just a way that I identified and that I enjoy. So there you are. Voila. So that is how you can utilize geometric planes to better shade your faces and heads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped. Just remember to always keep practicing. Just draw, 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 draw. So I guess that is it. That is all I got for you guys this week. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video and you find yourself enjoying all of our videos that we make here at Mr. Creations, you should probably like and subscribe uh, oh, and be sure to hit the bell Ding! <laughs> so you guys can be notified when our latest and greatest videos come out. My name is Brayden. You guys have just been tipped off. Hope you guys had fun and uh, I will see you in the next one.